Beautiful question, but before we dive into this question, I want to discuss about two points on the number line. Some two points, P and Q. Distance between the two points is modulus of P minus Q. Modulus of Q minus P. Distance between any two points on the number line is larger number minus smaller number. Distance between 2 and minus 4 is 2 minus minus 4. Distance between 3 and 5 is 5 minus 3. Distance between P minus Q is larger number minus smaller number. Or modulus of p minus q. Modulus of p minus q same as modulus of q minus p. One is positive, other is negative. Once you take modulus, both are positive. So this is distance between a and b. Distance between b and c is equal to distance between c and a. And so very interesting idea. If you look at this, if I have three points a, b, c, this will be distance between a and b. This will be distance between b and c. This will be distance between C and A. If the points were like this, this will hold good. When will it not hold good? I have A, C, B. This will be distance between A and B. This will be distance between B and C. This will be distance between C and A. Distance between A and B and B minus B and C will not add up to C and A. These two add up to this, that means C and A are the boundaries. They are not the numbers in the middle. That means B is the number in the middle. What this is telling us is this beautiful modulus of A minus B plus modulus of B minus C is equal to modulus of C minus A. What it is telling us is that A and C are in the extreme, B is bang in the middle. B is the number in between A and C. A could be the smallest, C could be the highest, or C could be the smallest, A could be the highest. That's all right. But B is in the middle. That much we know. So what is the maximum possible value for B? All three are integers, all are distinct and all are less than 100. So B, all three can be only from 1 to 99, but B is a number in the middle. It cannot be 99. It could go as high as 98. Three distinct positive integers, all less than 100. And so we are looking at three positive integers, all less than 100, distinct. And we know that B is a number in between. So B cannot be 99. The highest B can take is 98. It could be 99, 98 and any other number. B being 98, C 99, A being 3, that will work. A being 99, B 98, C being 5, that will work. And so maximum value B could take is 98. The take away from here, if we know modulus of A minus B plus modulus of B minus C is equal to modulus of C minus A, then we can say for sure that B sits in between A and C. B is the middle number, only then this will work. Lovely.